Hi, good morning. This is a continuation of my leadership series. Leaders are very important people in our lives. They build societies, they build organizations, they build institutions, they create employment opportunities, they make many people happy, healthy, and they do so much for other people. Now that's my definition of leadership. Leaders are those who make a difference in the lives of others. It's very important to write stories of leaders because it is these stories which inspire other people to be leaders. At one level, I believe everyone is born to be a leader. Circumstances help some of us to express our leadership talent and make a lot of impact on the rest of the world. However, if circumstances are not favorable, there are people who bring out their talent, work with the circumstances, bring about change and make things happen. While I agree that to express your leadership talent and make an impact, circumstances are very important. I also believe good leaders create circumstances for themselves. It is with this reason, many of us in either management field or any field would like to document stories of leaders. This is one of the things Arvind Agarwal and I have done in recent past, where we have documented the stories of 30 leaders, a good number of them are HR leaders and documented their crucible experiences, what kind of parentage they had, what kind of early childhood they had, schools, colleges, first job, various bosses they had, experiences they have had, and what got them to be established themselves and acknowledged as leaders. Well, before I tell you a little more about the book, I would want to encourage as many as possible to create leadership stories. At one level, I believe that all of us are leaders. Each one of us is a leader, including those who do small, small things. In our view, small, small things like a lift operator, like a cleaning person in an office or in banks as a staff, a peon, a clerk, an officer, irrespective of. These are all designations we give. But irrespective of the designation you have, it is what you do that makes you a leader. There are many people who have done wonderful things and have emerged as leaders. Imagine all those Bollywood stars who worked as ordinary taxi drivers or bus conductors and so on. And today they're practically worshipped by millions of people. So that means it is the way you deal with your circumstances and you build yourself, you become a leader. So. I would encourage you to think of becoming one of those documenters of leadership and leaders. When you do that, using your mind and hand and literature that you produce, you are helping many students, hundreds, thousands, maybe even lakhs and millions to read the stories, get inspired and try to bring out the leadership talent in them. I have written about four different books on leaders. I have used a methodology uh, which is different in each one of these books. When I wrote the book 100 Managers in Action, by the time that I decided to write the book, we have collected already about, uh, about 10,000 360 degree feedback stories of managers from various organizations. And we were using more or less comparable stores. There is something like a 55 to 75 item inventory where the manager or the person is rated anonymously by on an average about 10 people on 55 to 75 different activities classified under articulating vision, developing systems and implementing systems, managing people, managing colleagues, team building, managing boss, managing external customers and so on. About nine to 10 different categories of roles, but about 55 to 75 different activities. 
each on each one of these activities they were assisted anonymously by on an average about 10 people so we had data for almost about 8 to 10000 if i recollect 8000 means rated by about 80000 people 10000 is about about 1 lakh of people so for each one of them i have had consolidated scores and arranged the consolidated scores of each individual on all these 55 to 75 items on a descending order selected out of these 2 to 300 managers imagine out of 8 to 10000 managers i had about 2 to 300 who have consistently scored high means rated as uh, people who articulated their vision manage their juniors colleagues customers etc uh, on these items and uh, that means that they have made an impact on a number of people out of these 300 people we contacted them and then collected stories life stories once i think we arranged them in order of uh, descending or ascending and chosen the top uh, 200 to 300 managers i think the 360 feedbacks work is done now we have to go back and ask about their lives the career they have had the childhood they have had kind of things they have accomplished so these are the stories i have written in the book 100 managers in action if you read this book you will find this so for this the selection criteria of choosing the candidates was on the basis of their 360 degree feedback in the second book i have done on effective people now here i didn't deal with industry i didn't have any scientific data but i wanted to look at people who don't work in the corporate sector who are in ngos social workers teachers civil servants doctors and so on so for that we don't have any 360 degree feedback so for that i said i will define these leaders as those people who made a difference in the lives of others but how do you make a difference in order to make a difference you should have something with you and that i considered as the talent who are constantly discovering their talent whatever they are good at somebody is good at acting so you discover your talent and you make a difference in the lives of others as an actor somebody discovered one is a good teacher so as a teacher how do you make a difference or as a social worker how do you make a difference or a civil servant how do you make a difference as a doctor how do you make a difference so as an educational entrepreneur how do you make a difference so i picked up these sectors and started looking for people who made a difference in the lives of others with the help of penguin book uh, 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 series with, with the team i sent out a lot of social media advertisements asking people to nominate but it did not work i did not receive any nominations i don't even say good nomination i didn't receive any nominations hardly less than 10 number of nominations were received in various social media i came to the conclusion if you ask normally a fellow indian to name a good leader by, apart from the political leaders and the industrial so or billionaires and so on they find it difficult to name so i said this seems to be not working let me look at my own experiences and in my life i happened to interact with good civil servants and i started asking some of my civil servant friends who are those civil servants who made a difference in the lives of others i identified a few of them and i listed them in my book effective people same way i looked at doctors looked at the popular literature looked at the web uh, postings and so on same way film actors so many film actors we all know we all see movies i happen to have listened to uh, at least one of them anupam kher when he visited ahmedabad listen to and very impressed with i think what he talked in fact we started using that particular talk by him in some of our uh, uh, sessions and so on so i looked at them similarly i visited some of the social workers about whom i heard used the social media and so on so we identified about 70 different people drawn from civil services medical health and medical profession social work educational entrepreneurs teachers whom i have known and uh, any other general non corporate sector people who made a difference in the lives of others so the choice is made on your personal knowledge and web uh, popularity social media popularity 
and normally acknowledged by people. But you will not always find, particularly my first category of effective people, good teachers, always are not acknowledged unless you go to a particular college and find them out. But I will say that's the second criteria, the second one for my book, Effective People, is largely based on our understanding from a variety of sources, particularly media sources, on the impact they have made on the larger society. This is the second category. Third category, Arvind Agarwal and I have done, which I have explained uh, leaders in the making. There we identify 12 criteria. This is particularly for HR leaders. They should have achieved some position which is a position of influence where they can influence other people. They achieved their position by actually by influencing them. Like I think you become the president of one of the professional bodies because you are noticed, you are acknowledged and that is a good way. Or in their own organization they have become CHROs and things like that. They have written books, they have disseminated. So we use the 12 criteria which are defined in my in our book on leaders in the making. So you can use criteria which is on, which, which, which are uh, uh, articulated on the basis of again literature survey, on the basis of researches and so on. We also reviewed a lot of uh, books on this. So this is the third category. Define criteria, you apply the criteria and choose your leaders. There is a fourth category which is heavily conceptualized. You conceptualize, like you want institution builders who built institutions. So there is a concept of institution building done by Uday Parikh, David McClelland and Burnham have written about it. So you look at the concept and you say those people who make, who build institutions and make lasting contribution. These are the people who are entrepreneurs. Now this is what I defined in my book, managers who make a difference. In fact, I call them as visionaries and missionaries. This is my own conceptualization. I call people as workers, achievers, missionaries and visionaries. Now, this is a conceptual base and using this conceptual base, I identified some people. Now, this is where you use your own subjectivity and so on. So friends, there are four different categories of selecting leaders if you want to make case studies. One your own conceptualization of a leader and apply the conceptualization criteria like institution builders, entrepreneurs, visionaries, missionaries. I think you have to clarify your concepts. This is number one. And number two, use tools like 360 degree feedback where there is a scientific evidence. You have quantified them. These tools will give you list of those people. Number three, develop criteria like what we have done in leaders in the making and then use these criteria, apply these criteria and identify these leaders or number four use again a definition and use your own personal experiences and media experiences web experiences as well so these are four good ways of identifying leaders you can find leaders in every sector you can find women leaders you can find leaders working in uh, tribal communities for social causes leaders working in health sector in uh, uh, simplifying processes and so on, you will find leaders everywhere in education, health, entrepreneurship, women's employment and so on and so forth. I'm sure you will be doing a great service if you do any such documentation of leaders in the society and make this documentation of the stories available. People like to read stories and you could be an instrument in inspiring a lot of youngsters today in our country by reading these stories and doing things that they have not done before. Best of luck from TVRLS, from myself. Hope you will contribute greatly to the development of leaders and leadership in the society. Thank you.